Joe and John do stuff. Thanks for watching. This is the first room we tackled in our renovation, which is the small bathroom. And this is kind of what started this whole project in the first place. Right, Jojo? Yes, this is where it all started. All started. So take a look at the first intro video. hope that was worth the wait. What you see here is the linoleum. Do you remember linoleum, Joe? Yes, they were a nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare. So I promised I would get it done in a day. And what happened? It took a week or two. I think it was two. Two weeks. Maybe two weeks? Let's say it's two weeks. Jojo is always right. Anyways, you can see in the photo I was using a scraper and it was fun. Exacto knife too? I yeah, think. maybe an exacto knife. And then you suggested I use a heat gun. A heat gun, apparently. This is what YouTube is for. Look on YouTube. And I used a heat gun and it started coming off a lot quicker. Do you remember how much quicker? I don't remember. I think there was, you know, from the first picture to the last to the second picture, that only took like a day or two. Yeah, once I started. You can go go buy from like Home Depot or rent these big Linoleum, linoleum scrapers. The only reason I didn't, because I mean, look at the size of this dinky floor, right? Maybe I should have. Time, time over money. Time over money. Yes. That is your first tip of our renovation projects. Now here you can see our flooring. So here I'm just showing, I believe Joe was not home and I wanted to get started. So I asked her, which pattern do you like better? Because we were going for a cabiny feel. So do you like a end to end or do you like the full like half stagger and she said the stagger the stagger now normally you do a stagger uh based on installation it makes it easier we did it for purely aesthetics which it does cost more doing it with that stagger and you waste more material but that's what we ended up going with and how does it look now joe it looks it looks better than before better than before so convincing we're done now you think she'd be like whoa uh so there is the after before we put the toilet uh i do not think we have anything on toilet installation till we get to our second bathroom so you'll have to wait when you do the toweling maybe explain what did you do what oh, kind of product yes did you use? so we used a quick mix mortar from home depot i believe and I didn't put down an underlay on this one, which I should have. You can put tile right directly on concrete or even linoleum. Do not do that, even though we ended up doing it later, I think, because it's so easier, so much easier. But yeah, you use quick mix, mix mortar, ready mix mortar or whatever. Uh, it's much better than using uh, other stuff. And then we put them down and then yeah. you see the finished product here. We'll show you more in details in our upcoming videos because we did not plan. Yeah, in the bathroom too and kitchen and other stuff. We'll go through the many different iterations of attempts we did for that. And then you can see sort of the final look that we ended up with. Now, tell me about this wall, Jojo. Uh, well, I saw this picture on Pinterest and it had the honeycomb back splash and I really loved it. Um, so I ordered a wallpaper from China, AliExpress. It came in and it did not work as planned. It was garbage. In the videos on AliExpress, it seemed like it just applies on like nothing. And I, we, we tried to fight with it for, I don't know, a few hours or half a day and just gave up. Like the, 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 the sides were peeling off and it just it wouldn't work it would have been horrible i was already just to paint it and then she said hmm? let's tile it no i didn't do that i don't remember that anyways i remember it going from this is just going to take a week to finish after the floor fiasco to this now took another week or two and it's because someone decided to do tiling on the wall which i had to do but the end product looks great so there you have it well, the wall didn't take that long, I don't think. I think it only took like a day or so, no? I'm going from memory, so I'm going to exaggerate. Hyperbolic John to the rescue. There are timestamps. 
maybe. Okay, and here you can see Jojo doing the rough work on our first attempt at our epoxy custom-made Live Edge countertops. Tell me about this, Joe. Um, so what you need to do is you buy, I don't know, I think we bought three strips or four strips of wood and you had to glue it together first, I think. Yeah, we bought from Home Depot some pre-made strips specifically sold in Canada. Uh, I think if we were to do it again, we would buy just like a full piece of slab of slab from a, a lumber yard or something. But next project. Anyways, what are you doing in the photo? Uh, well, first you glue it, and then I think we had to clamp it, right? And you had to put some nails in, in, in the back or something. How good her memory is. Don't <laughs> worry, there'll be more in upcoming videos. So after all that is done, you want to cut out the center of that, that piece to your sink size, obviously. Yeah. You measure it um, because it's an under sink, so it kind of had to be more exact than an over uh over sink yeah normally you can just do a rough coal and drop a sink in but ours was under and we didn't want to change it so so much more fun now regarding this you'll see us doing these custom things like two or three different times in the upcoming videos so we won't kill you with us talking and you having no clue what we're saying too much here you can see the epoxy though how was the first attempt at epoxy do you remember the picture on the left is just after staining it. Of course, you've got to test it out on a piece of scrap wood first to see, you know, the finished product you will like. Or else, once it's on, you're never getting it off again. Yeah, so, <laughs> as we learned. No, I mean the stain. Oh, the stain, yeah. Yeah, so after you stain it, let it dry for a day or so. And uh, was that epoxy that we applied? The right one is epoxy. You're smoothing out epoxy. Okay, so we mixed the epoxy, we poured it on, had no idea what we we're doing. Um, and then, yeah, so the epoxy kind of got everywhere, even though we wrapped it with, with plastic, it yeah. was any little holes or gaps, the epoxy is going to drip through and it, it's really painful to clean. Now, do you remember what happened with the first layer on this one? Cause I do. Oh yeah. Someone overheated the bubbles cause you're supposed to pop the bubbles with, uh, what are those? Blowtorch. A blowtorch. And you're supposed to lightly tap it. And this guy, what did you do? I put the flame too close. And how long did you leave it there for? You're like burning it. An undisclosed amount of time. I will not confirm nor deny. And then what happened? Then someone got very annoyed. And then we, when it dried, we had to sand the entire surface down again and prep it for a new layer, which and was... Uh, that took days. That was one of those, Joe, Joe is getting annoyed at John. <laughs> And it took another week onto the project. As you can see, though, in this photo, we put the uh, plastic down to try and be lazy. But then you can see in the video what happens when you leave the sink in. So watch the video. So in doing epoxy, take the sink out. We were doing the epoxy counters. This was after the first trial run. And as you can see, all our taping did not work so well and there's epoxy this is all epoxy on over top of this masking tape so now I, I get the fun job of getting it out do not leave the sink in if you are putting epoxy counters on so don't do that do the counters separate and here you can see jojo <laughs> whack-a-mole what was i doing she was scraping the excess epoxy because we left the sink and you'll see some photos it, it it formed around the rim and we had to cut it all off you'll see how this screw up added probably a week or two of work but this photo represents when we decided or i don't know the thinking process that we should start filming everything because whack-a-mole see next video so this is kind of like whack-a-mole where you know there's a hole there whack-a-mole <laughs> Except that if I actually hit her, she'll cut me. Yep. See, when I try to do it, that's what happens. So, Jojo took over. Tap out. Ah! Uh, no! I'm strong and independent.
<laughs> More epoxy problems. Take the tape off before it hardens. Lest it gets stuck. I will just sit here and enjoy the view. So you saw how much screw ups that we made on that over and over and over again. Take the sink out, do the sink, uh, the counter is differently, separately. We basically put the wood in and epoxied right in the spot and that may not be a good idea. We did it differently in future videos. Now, what is this magnificent photo we see here? Mm -hmm. It's a bum bum. <laughs> I'm not sure what's nicer, the finished washroom or the bum bum. You decide. Of course the bum bum. Of course the bum bum, right? Now, moving on to the lesser quality finished product is the video of the final bathroom. Check it out. So after all the half-assed photos you saw, this is basically the finished product. The finished product. Ignore the magazines. So the last video you saw, we were finishing up here. Uh, all the things that we went wrong with this. Now, obviously, we can't show you everything in this bathroom because we didn't film it. We weren't planning to. Ma ma. But we did this in the other room as well, so we'll show you how to do this in the other room. We did this in the other room too. We'll show you how to do this in the other room. We'll show you how to do this in the other room because we did that in the other room. <laughs> this too, but not that because we didn't do that in the other room. But what we did do was tile the washroom, which turned into an insane work Yeah, plan. small tiles don't no Yeah, good. small tiles are annoying. Spend way. more money for the sheets. Right, so this is easy to do slash not easy to do, but just know if you custom make something like this, 500 bucks or more at least. To buy or to make? To hire someone to do it for you, custom, at least, maybe more. Probably yeah, more. Probably Even more like a thousand. materials are probably like... 500 bucks at least initially because we screwed up a lot but whatever well and when we go over the epoxy videos later we'll show you what not to do with this so shiny. by the way it all started with a tap not in this room but in the kitchen when someone was in china yeah it exploded on me and i changed it <laughs> and then i was like the floor in here is shitty as you saw in the photos we should change it and then it turned into this yep because if we're changing the floor, I might as well change the toilet. And then that turned into the other bathroom, which then turned into the whole apartment, and therefore... So, well, I'm out of stream, whatever. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoy this intro video, and I should be looking in the camera. Uh, and <clears throat> we hope you look forward to more, because we'll actually explain how to do anything. Everything, so. If you want to go cheap and DIY. Yeah. A lot of the rentals went by this. By the time we're done, the entire apartment rentals probably would have been like a hundred grand if you hired someone. And we're going to do it for a lot less. The actual cost we won't know until the end because we keep changing our minds. <laughs> it's already more on more than I budgeted. But whatever, which we'll do another video on that later. Things we learned. Anyways, enjoy. What do you think of the final project, Jojo? Well, I designed it, so obviously it's magnificent. Magnificent, she says. So there is your final product. And again, we apologize for not having actually filmed what we're doing, but this is where we decided to start filming. So with regards to how to do the tiling, at least in our amateurish attempts, which I'm terrible at tiling, and how we did our countertops, which we got really good at, actually. Uh, there will be tons of videos on how to actually do this over the coming, I don't know, six months to a year as we release the videos. So in stay tuned and enjoy the show. Subscribe to our channel and this playlist for all of the renovation videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and share it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of our shenanigans. What are you waiting for? Do it now! Thank you for watching our channel and our videos. Remember, we are not really experts. So if you decide to copy something we have shown on this channel and it goes horribly wrong, that's on you. 
Anyways, we have no idea what we're really doing, so enjoy the process of us figuring our stuff out, both literally and figuratively. Now that you have finished watching this, go do something productive. Joe and, and John do, do stuff! stuff.